Hello and welcome, ITTV Gaming here. In today's episode, I want to show you how to build this aesthetic looking crops farm. As you can see, it is a quite lovely design and I try to keep it very simple. And I have to be honest, I am really happy with how this one turned out. It is a quite lovely farm design. Now, if you want to build along, there will be a list in the description, so keep that in mind. Once you got everything, let's get started. To start off, we're going to replace one block with a slab and then you you just want to add some water after that we're going to go out four blocks on each side and then we are going to connect each one together just to form a square Then you want to take some lecterns and we are going to create a three wide entrance over here. Okay, then we are going to place some lecterns like this. Over here we are going to place it like so. Okay, once you are done with that, you want to take the dark oak wood and place it at the corners again. Now we need to go up, so we are going to get rid of these three blocks. Again, we are going to add some upside down stairs and then we are going to create the same platform. Doing so, you just want to go up with two blocks this time. After that, over here, you just want to fit it in with some full blocks. Take your cobblestone stairs and place it in. And this is going to be the start of the next platform. So you just want to create another nine by nine area. Once you are done with that, we are going to again take some lanterns. But first, we need to cover up these. So we are going to add some stairs going across. And we are going to go this way. So over here, you can just use some full blocks just to make it easier. So let's again place some lanterns. We are going to leave three blocks of space. Over here, we are going to go all the way around. Over here, you just want to place it inwards like this. Then let's add some other full blocks on this side. Place some stairs on top just to indicate the entrance. And again, we can use some stairs. Then let's go up with the pillars. So this time you just want to go up three blocks. And here is going to be the next platform. So you just want to go in and then create another nine by nine platform. Okay, then let's not forget to light up this so that no mobs can spawn underneath. So I'm going to simply spam some torches. Okay, let's add some additional pillars again. Okay, now this time we're going to start with some stripped spruce wood going across. Like this. And over here we're going to have the enter, so it doesn't really matter, but we're going to fill this in with two rows of spruce wood. Just like that. Over here, you can just do the same thing, just for more time. Okay, once you are done with that, again, you want to take your stairs and just go in. Okay, let's add another watch source over here. And again, we are going to place our lecterns and we are going to make the entrance going this way this time. Okay, now let's create the same platform just one more time over here. So this time we want to go up four blocks. And then you get the idea. We are going to build in the same platform. Now let's build an additional pillar on this side and on this side as well. This time we're going to go up with two blocks of stripped spruce wood. Okay, and again we're going to take our stairs and place in. We're going to do the exact same thing actually. Okay, once that's done, let's add our go now again let's add our lecterns ok 
Okay, here we go. Okay, then take some spruce trapdoors and you just want to place it on top of each lectern. Then once we're done with that, we're going to take some dark oak fences and we're going to place it on top of each dark oak wood. Here we go. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go up two blocks over here. And then we're going to go up one on this side. After that, you can take your dark oak slabs, just place it on top, just like this. And you just want to make a simple square going across. And then over here, we are just going to add some slabs until these parts are connected. Okay, now let's repeat this for each side. Again, you just want to go up one block over here and then two on the back side. And we are going to do the same thing again. Okay, here we go. Then we're going to add some additional fences on the sides going up. Then you want to take some lanterns and place it in. Then you want to take some dark oak trapdoors and we're going to place it in as well. So you just want to take it. Then you want to take some trapdoors, place it in and open them up. You want to take some dark oak trapdoors and we're going to go all the way around and we're going to go up when the build is going up as well. So over here, you just want to place two like this, then get rid of these and just continue out. Now we need to do the same thing over here as well. Now on the sides, we are going to add one additional block just to decorate this a little bit. Now, if you want to, you can even add it at the center, just like that. Okay, so let's take some leaves and let's place this in as well. Okay, now we are going to repeat this same design on each one. Then if you want to, we can even add it on the sides going up. This automatically means that you have one less spot to uh, add your crops in, but it's going to be worth it. It's all about the aesthetics, right? Okay, next up, let's create a pathway. We are going to go in six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we can go out two blocks from the sides. We're going to go all the way around. Okay, now this time I'm going to use some Azadia and I'm going to cover up these sides going all the way around.
here we go now we can add some flowers just to make this a little bit more colorful and also having bees is going to help with the growth of the crops okay, so i'm going to mix in some blue orchids with some rose bushes Okay, now let's place some battles as well. So I want to replace these three center blocks with some battles. Now, if you want to, you can even replace all of this, but I'm going to give it a shape like so. And then we can have two additional ones at the entrance like that. Okay, now it is actually time to get each crops in. Now, like I said, I'm going to place in some bees as well. So I want to get rid of these two and then just add a bee. It makes it easier to grow. And here we go. Now, you can definitely add some more decoration to this if you want to. But I'm going to keep it as this because I'm actually very happy with how this one turned out. And hopefully you will enjoy this. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Have a nice day. I'll see you the next time.